Hello everyone, welcome back to another data analysis video. In today's video, we will be diving into Python data analysis using the Seaborn library and primarily working with pandas. We will be exploring a random dataset, analyzing it and discussing the code and output. So let's get started. Before we begin, let's import the necessary libraries for our data analysis project. We will be using pandas, Seaborn and matplotlib. Here's the code to import them. Now that we have our libraries imported, let's load our random dataset. For this project, we'll be using the load dataset function from Seaborn to fetch a random dataset. This function provides us with various built-in datasets, making it incredibly convenient for our analysis. Let's see how it's done. df is equal to the sns.load dataset and we are going to import the iris. For this analysis. Great, we have successfully loaded the data set. It's always important to have a good understanding of the data we are working with. So let's take a quick look at the data set structure and some sample records using the head function in pandas. We are going to use like df.head and also we are going to run the cell. Now that we have a glimpse of our data set, Let's dive deeper and perform some data analysis. We will explore various aspects such as descriptive statistics, data visualization and more. Let's begin by checking the summary statistics using the describe function in pandas. df.describe and when we run the cell, we can see the numerical summaries here. Numerical summaries are great but visualizations can often provide more intuitive understanding of the data. Now we are going to apply the shape method. We can learn our datasets row and column count in this way. It returns row count, which we can also call as entry number at the first place and column count at the second place. We can see that our row count is 150 and column count is five. Let's create some insightful plots to visualize the patterns and relationships within our dataset. We will be using Seaborn's powerful plotting capabilities to achieve this. Let's start by creating a scatter plot using the scatter plot function from Seaborn. sns.scatterplot. We are going to set x here as simple length and y here as simple width and we are going to specify the hue here as species and we are going to as last step set our data as df and let's give this plot a title like plt.title simple length versus simple width and let me quickly rewrite this and we are going to say plt that show at the last place and we are good to go here as you can see we have created a scatter plot showing the relationship between sample length and sample width with different species distinguished by color. The plot allows us to observe any potential clusters or patterns that may exist within the data. Now that we have a scatter plot, let's dive deeper and explore additional aspects of our dataset. Let's create a box plot using the box plot function to compare the distribution of sample widths across different species sns.boxplot x is going to be equal to the sample width and y is going to be equal to the species and we are going to set our data here and let's say plt.show
This box plot provides us with a visual representation of the distribution of sepal beds across different species. It allows us to compare the medians, quartiles, and potential outliers, providing valuable insights into the dataset. Let's check if we have any NA values in our dataset. We are going to use is NA and sum together for this task. Let's see if we have any. The F that is NA here firstly and then sum. As we can see, we don't have any NA values in our dataset. Our next step is going to be checking the duplicated entries. We are going to use duplicated and sum together for this task also. Let's see if we have any duplicated rows in our dataset. We are going to use firstly duplicated like the old code and after that we are going to use sum. We can see that we have a duplicated entry here. For getting rid of it, we can use drop duplicates. I'm going to pass in place echoes to true inside the line, so we are not going to have any need for reassigning the duplicate clean version of our dataset. We are going to say df dot drop duplicates, and we are going to say in place is going to be echoed to the true. So we are not going to assign it again. And now our dataset is cleaned from the single duplicated entry. For checking it, we can just type duplicated sum and see if we have any left. It returns zero as it expected. Now we cleaned our dataset. For the last step, I want to show you another method which is useful. Now we are going to use value counts. It's used for taking the information about the value counts in a column. Let's get the value counts for species column of our dataset. We are going to start by reaching the species column like this. And then we are going to say value and counts together. As we can see, we got the information about Setosa, verse cover, and Virginica counts in our dataset. That was all for this video. We have successfully analyzed a random dataset using Python's pandas library and Seaborn for data visualization. We explored the dataset structure, performed summary statistics, and created insightful visualizations. Remember, data analysis is a powerful tool that helps us extract meaningful insights from raw data. I hope you found this project informative and enjoyable. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.